Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Artarius, and this is episode 10 in my playthrough of the Battlefleet Gothic Armada campaign on Heroic Mode. And, uh, first off, I'd like to say thank you to everybody. I should probably do this every episode, but, um, I'll do it, uh, I'll start doing it from now on. Thank you to, uh, everybody who subscribed and is returning, and anybody who is a new subscriber who, you know, decided to subscribe to my channel. Thank you kindly. I appreciate it. Um, makes me feel good deep down inside. And yeah, that's my intro. And we're going to go ahead. This is where we left off last episode. Got, uh, killed the, killed the, the filthy chaos, the super ship, killed two orc planets. Um, and we're going to do another, we're going to do another, uh, turn here. So we'll see what happens. Oh God. One, four, three point four and uh, I'm four one. Oh Admiral Lord. Spire. You know, when people There's talk, it's going to be a problem in the Gothic war. Our sector is secured by six massive installations known as the Blackstone Fortresses. The fourth of these fortresses is stationed in the Rebo system. We've just received an astropathic message from this Blackstone Fortress, indicating a disastrous event. According to the message, a massive Chaos Warfleet of over 20 vessels, including two Despoiler-class battleships, has launched a surprise attack on the Blackstone Fortress. The astropath informed us that the fortress mysteriously lost all power just before the battle began, leaving the station defenseless. It is believed that Abaddon himself is leading the attacking warfleet. Do we know if there were any survivors? We lost the link with the astropath. We must presume every man and woman aboard the Blackstone Fortress is dead. Even more importantly, the message has confirmed my worst fears. The Chaos Fleet has taken or destroyed one of our most powerful installations. It is likely that the Blackstone Fortress now lies under enemy control. Well, great. And on top of all that, I only have two freaking deployments. What helps me with the deployment? Where is this? Seriously, I had a 90% chance and they... God. God. What does that? What does that mean? Oh, the Adaptus Astartes is fighting there. What is it? 300 points. Alright, well... We're gonna have to hit that planet. Wait a second. No, we're going to have to hit this planet. Okay, but we're also going to have to attack them. So, let's get with them. We have to attack. We have to get the kills. We have to get the kills. 300 points, though. This should be okay, because I sh Oh, look at that! The Adaptus Astartes is right there! Oh, look at their pretty ship! Space Marines, I should say. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but it just is fun to say. Four ships I've got to kill. Okay, fine. You're one, you're two. Activating tactical cogitators. Enemy ship sighted. Bad guy? Important guy? Jeez. Resuming normal functions. Helm coordinates acknowledged. There's a target. There's what does that mean? Is that their admiral ship? Oh, I think that's their admiral ship. All right, so that's one target. At your command. Orders received. Course plotted. That might be a target because it's going straight through that field. Only targets do that generally. Cruising speed set. Oh, whatever. We're gonna fire on it. 
Ship ready. Engines to maximum. Underway. Target locked. Is that a target? In. That is a target. Yes, I Cruising speed set. Oops. Sighted. Understood. Execute high energy turn. Cruising speed set. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Changing course. We got some torpedo shots on. Reloading. Them. Enemy ship sighted. Understood. We're targeting enemy vessel. Your orders? Yes. Failure. Got one. I took him up. Your orders. Awaiting orders. Cruising. Seriously? Engines hot. Acquiring new vector. That was a better hit. Good job. Ship ready. Activating tactical cogitators. Him. Your orders. Engaging. So that's three. Need one more. This one right here. Cruising speed set. Yes, Admiral. Initiate emergency repairs. Setting course. Oh yeah, thank you for nudging me in the direction I needed to go. Thank you for that little orc ship that could. I approve of you. <laughs> I would have missed that orc ship, I think. But I didn't, because my friend the orc uh, rammer decided to ram me into position. Thank you very much. I approve. 153. I mean, it's not it's not great, but I did get some Stati's to their uh, happiness with me. They should talk I to me now. I am Captain Tiberius Solarian of the Imperial Fists chapter. Your performance in battle was most impressive, Admiral Spire. Many Why of my battle brothers have survived thanks to the valor of your fleet. My chapter rewards such sacrifice for the Emperor. I have only done my duty for the Imperial Navy, Captain Tiberius. I am privileged to fight alongside the Imperium's finest warriors. A squad of Imperial Fists Space Marines is awaiting you at Port Moor. These Space Marines are masters of boarding actions, and they will strongly reinforce the boarding capabilities of your ship. Excellent. Excellent. I'm not going to do anything with it, but excellent. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Port Maw here, seeing if I can do anything special. 257. How much does this take? That takes 380. That takes 360. So yeah, I need a lot more than that. Okay. Alright, so we're going to have to go back and get this thing right here. Assassination. I don't want to have to assassinate, but yeah, got the, the attacker, got to find it, and then got to kill it. For the Eldar, we need consistent, constant firepower and lower level ships for them to uh, focus on 
whilst my big daddy's all oh, the Imperium, uh, oh the Inquisition. I think to say the Inquisition's so pretty on that ship. Let's see, look, we only have three minutes to find this enemy ship and kill it. It's a 180 second cooldown on the, on the, um, Imperial Navy's thing. So I would have been sitting there waiting and I would have had a, maybe a couple of, of, I mean, have maybe, maybe 40, 55, 40 to 50 seconds after the escort that I could teleport in, teleport it in. This is not a lot of time to do damage, especially for an escort. Let's start moving. Enemy ship sighted. That's him. Your orders. Okay. Course plotted. Stay out of the danger ring, please. Cruising speed set. Cruising speed set. No, that's the target. Okay. That's what, come on. Resuming normal function. Oh, well, we might get some damage on that guy. We should be able to ram him. Oh, yeah. Coordinates acknowledged. For the Emperor. Awaiting orders. Activating tactical cogitators. What is that? Cruising speed set. Ship ready. Engines to maximum. At your command. Targeting enemy vessel. Ship ready. All ahead full. Changing course. Your orders. Activating tactical cogitators. First of all, we need to get his filthy engines down. Yes, Admiral. Resuming normal functions. Cruising speed set. Oh, crap. Your orders? Didn't really mean for that Engine's to happen, hot. but... Resuming normal functions. I took him out. Activating tactical cogitators. Orders received. Awaiting orders. 
Oh, did we get him? Oh, we got him! Oh, we got him. We got him. Alright, we got that. Level up on the Dauntless. Sweet. Okay, we're going to go ahead and call this uh, the end of the episode. After I go to the mall here and level up my one guy, we're going to have to call it the end of the episode because that was quirk, I understand, but we're going to... The next episode, I'm sure, is going to... Um, hmm. Next episode is going to be long, uh, if I super long, if I continue with this, and if I don't, then it'll be basically a normal length. So this will be a short episode. Sorry about that, but hey, hopefully you guys liked it. Nice bite-sized uh, pieces, as it were. Um, but yeah, that was that. Thank you guys for watching. It was pretty quick. Paul, not much. I mean, I could do a 55-minute hour episode, but everybody told me they don't like it, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode, somewhere, anywhere, at any point in time, maybe.